one of the other things about Bull Durham is that it's not about just winning a game. It's about the poetry of baseball. It's about a lot of things that I didn't really understand about baseball. I grew up with hockey and basketball and, you know, my brothers played Little League and whatever, but I didn't really, I, for me it was a little slow. I didn't really get it. And, you know, I, I don't know, when I was getting ready to go on location, I thought, oh, this is going to be hell. I'll be stuck in a locker room with all these guys. This is, And it ended up being one of the best experiences still that I've ever had on a film. Um, and and I really got to understand the beauty of, of baseball and, and, and that it was more like chess than it was slow and that you really have to understand all the choices and what's going on. I mean, and it's kind of great because on TV, you know, you can get close up and you can see the drama that's unfolding. They're, they still haven't figured out how to shoot hockey, for instance. Uh, so unless you're there smelling the and <laughs> smelling the hockey and hearing the sounds and the ice and the whole thing, you can't really get it. But baseball is so fabulous when, when you even watch it on TV. So, I, I, you know, I think it's, it was about the heart of baseball. It was about um, the poetry of baseball and, and belief in, you know, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose, sometimes it rains. You know, that's just the way it goes, and you never know what's going to happen till the fat lady sings.